Welcome back. We are celebrating a very special birthday here at News Channel 3 all summer. 65 years ago, WWMT, which was WKZO-TV, began broadcasting to West Michigan. All this month, we take a look back at our history with the help of one of the station's longest-serving personalities, Keith Thompson. Keith. Well, Andy, thanks. You know, dozens and dozens of programs literally have been produced right here in this studio over the past seven decades. Of course, it's impossible to recall them all. Not enough time and probably not enough memory. But there are a special few that seem to be most remembered, most popular, and best loved. I'll just take a cup of coffee. One of the first regular television shows on WKZO-TV would be its longest running and one of the most popular. Rimwall and the Green Valley Boys were already a staple on WKZO radio when the TV station began. They moved their live program to the screen. And people would gather around the dinner plates and, and, uh, and watch the show. They'd come out from farming, they'd come in and... And uh, my dad always uh, requested uh, uh, if anybody had any requests for anybody, well, send them in, you know, keep those cards and letters coming in. The audience not only kept the requests coming, they also asked for a chance to be on the show with the band. And according to Rim's son, Rendell, who was also a member of the Green Valley Boys, the answer was often yes. Every time they asked dad if they could be on to try their... You know, vocation, they, the one the part that they loved was singing. Well, there was no other place in town that you could really go. My dad says, well, let's try out. He'd hit a couple of licks and they'd, they'd do their thing. And he says, yeah, let's, I think we'll let you on. Rimwall and the Green Valley Boys were on WKZO-TV from the early 1950s to the middle 1980s. An amazing run of more than 30 years. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the Channel 3 Clubhouse. Where Local children were the stars of what is likely the most popular and remembered show in Channel 3 history, Channel 3 Clubhouse. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Channel 3 Clubhouse. I'm glad you could join us today. The show had several hosts during its run from the 50s through the 80s. Beanie Brown, Uncle Fred, Cynthia Kay, just to name a few. Would you like to do Nicole? Play outside. Kids lucky enough to be chosen to be on the clubhouse had an experience they would never forget. Like Brian Maloney, who remembers being on the show in 1964 when he was just four years old. I think the door was back over and is where this door was at right now. We walked in back here. I remember we had to file in three at a time because you had the three. And I believe the stands were here kind of at a diagonal angle. And then and we come into the studio and we were let in. We were told we had to be really, really quiet. We had to keep our hands to our sides. Um, we couldn't touch the person in front of you, no prodding or anything like that. I remember them going over all these rules. It's time for the Lori Moore Show. The tradition of producing local programming continues today with the Lori Moore Show, a half-hour program all about things happening in our community. It airs on the CW7. So I watched Channel 3 all the time, and I was a big Channel 3 Clubhouse fan. I also watched Accent when I was growing up, which was a show similar to my own, uh, rather <laughs> related to that. And uh, so I think it's great that we've brought back a local talk format. Thank you from the back if I may. Okay, I'm sure that there are several of you right home, or at home right now, thinking, uh, what about Accent? What about Feminine Fancies? The Farm Report, News 3 Outdoors, sports, weather, election specials. Of course, we're out of time. We don't have time to look back at all of those. But next week, we will take another look back at our history of being involved in our local community in the places that we call home. <laughs> Andy? That is so neat, Keith. Thank you. And that clubhouse, I just hear about that all the time. And I think maybe we should bring it back one, one of these days. We'll see him.